Hey what's up, Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video I just want to talk about something that kind of drives me a little bit crazy in Unity and that's the default script templates. So if you go in and create a new script, say I create a new C Sharp script and I'll name this, maybe it'll be a projectile. All right? and I open it up in Visual Studio. The default layout there is just not what I'm used to as a C-sharp developer and what other C-sharp developers are generally used to. Instead of having everything on a new line, we have you know, the brackets ending on the current line. It's a lot more C++ or JavaScript style than C-sharp. And I usually end up doing Control K, Control D to fix the formatting. And then almost every time I come in and delete, start and update because I don't need those there. I mean, they're great if you're new to Unity and you have no idea what to do, but as soon as you're used to it at all, it's essentially just a repeatable task that you have to do every single time to go in and delete those, you know, maybe get rid of the extra using statements and then start with an actual clean, empty class. Or a lot of the time I'll see people leave all that stuff in there and then they've just got extra crap in their file for no reason. So there's actually a really easy way to fix that, and I'm going to show it to you now. So if you browse to the folder where your Unity version is installed, so right now I'm on 2017.10 F3, and then you go into the editor folder, and then data, resources, and script templates, you see right here are a bunch of different templates that we can modify. And the one I wanna edit is this new behavior script. Now if I just double click it, it opens in Notepad, which is terrible and it's not really editable. I can open it in something else though, like Visual Studio or Notepad++, and then actually have a decent view of it. So here I'm just going to, oops, I'm going to drop it into Visual Studio, and we're going to make a change. So if you take a look, you see it's just replacing the script name here. So when you generate it, it'll put the script name there, does this mono behavior at the end, and then that extra space in the line. So I'm going to delete that, delete this, delete the extra line at the end, delete those two. So if I try to save this from Visual Studio or some other editor other than like Notepad++, I'm gonna get this error saying that I don't have access. And that's just because I can't get access to this resources and script templates folder. Now, there are a couple different ways to fix it. An easy way to fix it is to just save it off into another folder. Like I've got a temp folder right here. I can save it right there. And then I can just drag it over and Windows will just prompt me to elevate permissions. So I can go like that, take the script out of here, and copy it in. Like I said, another way to do it that's easier, I just use Notepad++ and then I can save wherever I want. So that'll work. Now if I jump back over to the editor, and I create a new script again, so I'll go to Create, Script, and we'll call this uh, Weapon. Just make a Weapon script, there we go, we reload. And if we go to the weapon script, you can see right here, it's now in the format that I prefer. So again, this is more of a personal preference thing and just something I'm used to. I like my classes like this without all the extra stuff. If you have some other template that you want to have, maybe you have a uh, special thing that you need to add, some copyright disclaimer or something else in your code, you could also put that into your template so you don't have to paste it in every time. Um, or you just set it up you know, however you like. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And if you have questions or comments, just drop them below and I'll get back to you. Thanks.